Recently I've been playing around with the wonderful CH32V003 but have found a little problem and also a way to fix it. Here it is happily fading away so that's just this sketch here and we're using the pin A2 which is analog that's pin number seven and it's working fine and then we change it to a blinky uh, and that's using the same pin but in digital mode uh, so that's PC4 and it's blinking and then we'll go back to fading and everything seems fine. Yep, there it goes fading in. But if I try and do some serial communication, uh, and this is the wrong way to do it, but um, let's just see what happens. So I upload this and it uploads fine and starts blinking in. But when I go back to the fade sketch, something happens. It says the selected serial port does not exist. Because it's one wire communication and it's going through pin eight, and I'm trying to use pin eight for serial communication, the whole thing has ground to a halt. And when I first saw this, I thought, uh oh, I've bricked a chip. In fact, I even threw one away. But recently I've discovered a piece of software and uh, it's called Mini CH Link. And so I've just downloaded the source code from the GitHub and here it all is and then I just type in make and it makes it pretty good there are some pre-compiled binaries if you're not really into uh, compiling your own software and then I discovered um, pretty much by accident actually by mucking around that what you had to do is use the file uh, actually what we'll do is we'll just have a look at readme so we're going to have a look so if I, I have a look at readme it gives the whole thing so you can enable 3.3 volt or 5 volt and, uh, and disable them as well. That's pretty cool. This is what I'm interested in, clear all code flash. So it's like a unbrick, it says. That's pretty cool. Now, um, I, look, I've bricked plenty of chips. Um, when I first started mucking around with the A-Tiny 85s, uh, yeah, I used to brick them all the time, particularly when I was trying to slow them down or put them to sleep. Could never wake them up again. And I ended up using a high voltage programmer. And those of you who've been in the AVR world will know about the high voltage program. When I say high voltage, it's 12 volts. Basically, it just kicks it back into life again, uh, which is pretty useful. This is a little different. It's almost got like a reset or clear code built in. And this program, Mini CH Link, is the one to get there. There's all sorts of other things you can do, halting, unhalting, and all that sort of stuff. But what we're trying to do at this stage is press U. And then, so if I do the Mini CH Link and U, what I've really got to do is try and catch it just as it is powered up again. So I'm going to take out the wire for VCC and then I'm going to hit this and simultaneously poke that wire back in again and you can see that the blinking and fading and everything has stopped so now I should be able to with luck upload the fading again and yep it goes into fading and I'll just get rid of the offending lines for the serial communication and like I said we'll get back to that about how to actually do serial communication but uh, hopefully now that it's been officially unbricked yeah look at that it's back to blinking in so if you do have a CH32V003 and it's not behaving itself and you can't talk to it try mini CH link and uh, yep just as you press the uh, the U option and you put the power back in Happy days, it's all back and working. It's a quick one this week, but that is the circuit working. See you next time.